Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart in Google Forms. So here we have this sample quiz with a few questions. And now we need to go ahead and generate a response. So I'll click on this preview icon at the top. And from here I'll just copy this email address. And I'll paste it here. I'll add a few more characters. And for the name I'll type in Thomas. And I'll enter some random answers to these questions. Let's make this one 12 and I'll click submit. All right, let's close this tab and let's go to responses. Here we can see the answers to our questions. So let's go ahead and create a pie chat with this data. Let's click on this sheets icon and we'll create a new spreadsheet. And now once this page opens, we just want to highlight the data that we want to present. So I'll just highlight this portion and I'll click on insert at the top. Let's click on chart. So now we can see a column chart. Let's go to chart type on the right and we'll just scroll down and click on pie. Check switch columns or rows. And now we can see that our questions and responses are presented in this pie chart. Now, if you want to, you can also go ahead and customize the chart. You can customize the chart style, change the background color, change the font and the border color. To make it a donut, go to pie chart and change the donut hole percentage to about 50 or 75 depending on your preferences. You can always make more customizations if you need to, but I'll just stop here for now. So I'd also like to recommend an add-on that could further enhance your Google Forms experience. It's called Extended Forms. I'll show you guys how to install it. Let's go to Options and click on Add-ons. In the search, I'll type in Extended Forms. Here it is. Now we can go ahead and install the first result. I'll click on install, continue, select a Google account, scroll and click allow. And we're done. I'll close this and I'll click on the add-ons icon. Let's click on extended forms, configure. So now we have the pop-up on the right hand side. Let's turn it on. And here's the add-on interface. Now we need to click on fix settings. Okay, so the first option here lets us select a sharing method. We can see the options in the drop-down menu. I'll leave it as default. And we also have the option to set a time limit. Let's increase that to two minutes. Let's restrict attempts. And we also want to auto submit after the timer ends. So I'll leave that on and I'll click on save. Now I'll close this message and I'll click on preview. Let's click on get started. So here we have the timer at the top. Now for the full name, I'll type in, I'll just type in Thomas and I'll also provide random responses to the rest of the questions. I'll click on submit and now I'll go ahead and close this tab to go back to the add on. Let's click on responses. And this is where we can view the responses to our quiz. If I click on response, I'll see the answers that I provided. Okay, so we have come to the end of this video and I urge you to go ahead and check out extended forms. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.